Hi, this is David Davis, and this is a demo on VI FastPass from my new VMware vSphere troubleshooting training course. So now let's move on and let's talk about VI FastPass. Now, FastPass is really going to make us much more efficient when it comes to managing multiple ESX and ESXi hosts from Vima. And it's really the best way to run commands um, on not even vCenter, uh, but especially the ESX and ESXi servers. And what it's going to do is basically you're going to type in the credentials once when you add the server, and then those credentials are going to stay cached inside Vima uh, really until you clear them. So uh, once you've added these servers, then you can select which server you want to run a command on with this VIFP target command, uh, run the commands, and then get out. So kind of like a shell, almost like a remote shell to every server uh, in some ways. Um, so to do this, we'll be using the VIFP add server command and then VIFP target uh, to uh, specify which server we want to run a command on. Now previously you would run uh, VIFP uh, add server and then VIFP init, but you should know that VIFP init is no longer needed. It's been deprecated and you should use VIFP target instead. So with that, let's go over to our SSH client. Uh, let me clear the screen here and let's start off by trying to use VIFP add server and what we're going to do is to add uh, both of our servers that we have in our vSphere virtual infrastructure if we go over to our vSphere client you can see here I have two servers two hosts ESX1 and ESX3 let's add both of those servers I just type in the root uh, password for ESXi1, and there we go. We added that server. Let's do an up arrow here. I'll do a backspace, and I'll type in the number 3. I'll type in the root password for ESX host number 3, and there we go. It appears to be successful. Let's do a VIFP list servers, and there we go. You can see we added the two servers. One's an ESXi server, one's an ESX server, ESX1 and ESX3. Now we could also add vCenter to this list if we wanted to, so that we could use VI FastPass with vCenter. But let's just stick with the ESX and ESXi server for now. And the next thing we want to do is use VI FP target. So let me clear this. And let's do a VI FP target. And let's actually just start off with dash dash help. And you can see here's the commands. So how this works is you use the VIFP target command with minus S or dash dash set along with the server name of the server that you want to run commands on from Vima. So let's give it a try. I'm going to do VIFP target minus S for set and I'll type in ESX1 and press enter. And here you see how my command prompt changed. You see the ESX1 in there. And now if I type VICFG dash nix minus L, that's all I have to type. I don't have to specify the server name. I don't have to type in a username or a password. All that is just cached using VI FastPass. It's really cool. It's really very powerful. So to get out of this, uh, we type VIFP target minus C to clear and we're back at a regular command prompt. Let's try it again with another ESX server. I'm just going to press up arrow here, change this to ESX host number three. My command prompt changed. I'll type up arrow here. Again, run the same VI CFG Nix command. List out those Nix. And there you see we get the same list, uh, but from a different server. You can see it is a different server indeed because the MAC addresses here are different. Um, on that VM NIC 0. And there we go, a successful test of VI FastPass. Uh, the two most important things, again, you need to know is uh, VIFP add server to add the servers, and then VIFP target to select the server or set the server you want to run commands on from Vima. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.